the Sylvia Plath, a dark choice, a dark writer, but such beautiful, beautiful, grotesque, dark, surprising images. Uh, Sylvia Plath, but maybe also um, the 20th century American uh, poet Elizabeth Bishop, um, who outlived Plath. I think everyone did. Plath died so young. But Bishop is um, another very quirky poet. There's something quite unnerving about her rich descriptions. They're not comfortable to read. Um, you know, there's a quirkiness and a darkness in them, a sort of a coldness. Chekhov wrote, you know, to touch the heart, you must be very cold, which I always remember. You've got to have that artistic detachment at the same time as you spill your guts. And uh, I think both Bishop and Plath had that. But I've also got a deep fondness for the New York poet Frank O'Hara, who just wrote spontaneously crazy poetry. He was one of the founding postmodernists, and you know, you never knew what would come out of his pe his pen into his notebook. And he said in one of his famous mock manifestos, "I just go on my nerve." <laughs> 